Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. On the table today, we're going to be looking at the Walther Q4 Steel Frame SF. Now this is one of Walther's most recent offerings and it comes on the coattails of the Q5, which has been pretty successful for competition pistols. The Q4 is designed for concealed carry. Now this is not just a slimmed down or a chopped up version of the Q5. This is a pistol that has been totally re-engineered from the ground up with balance, weight, and concealed carry in mind. There are two models available, the one you see on the table, which is the standard model, and also an OR optics ready, ready version. I have not been able to get my hands on an optics ready, so we're going to have to make do with this one. Taking a look at the pistol, as I read you some specs, the craftsmanship is absolutely amazing. And the first thing that jumps to mind is how heavy this thing is, and we'll go through the specs. But everything is steel, from the grips to the frame to the slide. It is completely a steel frame striker-fired pistol. Very heavy, but boy, does it feel good in the hand. Looking at the slide right away, you're going to see that it's got front and rear serrations, and I will show you, but the gun has been safety checked prior to the prior to the video. I'll leave this out. And it's got it comes with 15 round mags, all steel Walther mags, very nice, very high quality mags. Going back you got to the slide, you got front and rear serrations. Typical if you are familiar with a PPQ, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about because that's what this is it looks like. This are PPQ slides. has a Q4SF marking on it. It's got the Walther flying banner here. I really wish they wouldn't put that there, but they do. On top, you've got rounded three dot photophosphoric slides, I mean, uh, sights. So they're not sights that are going to glow in the dark without you lighting them first. So you got to light them up and then they'll glow for a while. So for the price, I really wish they would have given us night sights, regular tritium night sights, but they don't. The optics ready, and of, of course, let me back up a little bit. These are dovetailed, so you can replace them if you, win, if you wish. The optics ready version will have the cut here, yes, of course but you also get the plates needed to mount a Trigicon RMR, um, a, a Leupold, and a Doctor, if I pronounce that correctly. And the mounting plate that would be here, it comes with an LPA adjustable rear sight. You've got the frame, of course, is all steel. You've got a three slot rail to hang the accessories that need you that need to hang. The controls are very good, typical PPQ. Doesn't they don't get in the way, they just work fine. Got an ample trigger guard with serrations in the front, and these work very well. They're not just useless vertical lines, they're actually serrated. You got a steel trigger with a safety. Lot, lots of room here in the trigger guard. Moving down towards the frame, very nice serrated grip panel right there. They did a nice job, but again, not just giving you useless vertical serrations. The grips, the texture is fantastic. You grab this pistol and it's just not going anywhere. We can see the grip is sort of a palm swell. Not too, not too much, but it's got some sort of a palm swell. The mag release, it's got a nice texture on it. It's not too big, but it's got a nice texture, and you can reach it without any problems, without having to change your grip angle here. Of course, everything in this pistol is machined from a solid billet. And for a gun that is this heavy, they did a fantastic job in the balance. When you hold it in your hand, the balance is just, the gun just melts into your hands. The balance is fantastic. 
the focus catch up. It's just the details, you know, the the steel that that you can see even in the little roll pin there. The typical Walther marks all around. So what Walther tried to do with the Q4 SF is really re-engineer the weight distribution in the frame with the object of reducing recoil. Going back to the top, you can see that you got the serrations. I neglected to tell you here, you got the serrations that lead your eye from the, towards the front sight. So touches that you would see on custom guns, Walther has done a great job in incorporating into this production striker-fired pistol that has the feel of a custom gun, but in a production striker-fired pistol. So if I can do this around the camera for the takedown, just move the lever up, release the slide, pull the trigger, and off comes. So I'm not going to take the whole thing apart, but I wanted you to take a look at the inside. You got a captured recoil spring, recoil spring with a steel guide rod. And look, at it's just beautiful work by Walther. No tooling marks anywhere. Solid, solid, heavy. And going into the slide, I'm sorry, to the frame, you can see here, and now it's gonna, I thought the white balance was gonna blow up on me. But take, let you take a look at it. Again, beautiful work by Walther. Heavy, heavy. Put this back together carefully. Lock it, clip, release, test for function. And since we're here, let me show you the trigger. This has Walther's quick defense trigger, which is a, it's a two-stage trigger. It is very crisp with a break, and the reset is, reset is very short. In this particular example, it's pulling in at 4.8 pounds. So let's take a look at it. You got, there you go. You got the little safety. The safety disappears completely flat into the trigger shoe. The take up is right there. You hit the wall and it, there's no grit. There's nothing, There's no. you don't feel anything. It just glides there and a little bit more and you have the brake. And then the reset, right there. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Some people say that it just feels like a regular PPQ trigger. I think it feels better, at least in this particular one. Break. Reset. Just very nice, very, 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 very nice. We're gonna be doing some range time with this one for sure, but I just wanted to show it to you right away. It's got an extended beaver tail. I'm kind of jumping around, but it's got an extended beaver tail and it gets, lets you get really deep into the, your hand, really deep under the gun. It does have a high bore axis for whatever people t seem to complain about that. It's never bothered me, SIGs. Anything with a higher bore axis, I, I just don't buy into that. So there you go. So now getting quickly into the specs, it is, let me walk you around as I do that. It, like I said, it's a nine millimeter. The barrel length is four inches, poly polygonal rifling. The trigger pull, like I said, it's uh, just under five pounds in this particular example. Capacity is 15 plus one, and you get two mags, but you can also get optional 17 rounds, 17 round mags, so 17 plus one. The overall length of the pistol, is going to be 7.4 inches. The height is going to be 5.4 inches. The width of it is going to be 1.3 inches. The weight empty is coming in uh, on the standard version, which is this pistol in front of you, at 39.7 ounces and 40 ounces for the optic ready. 
Now, the MSRP on this pistol is coming in for the regular, the one that you have here in front of you, is coming in at $1,399. For the Optics Ready, it comes in at $1,499. So you're spending an extra $78 for the Optics Ready if you can find it. Locally, this is retailing for about $1,350 or so. So in summary, guys, ladies, I think this, oops, I think this is a fantastic offering by Walther. I've never been a big, big fan of the PPQ, but this Walther is just absolutely fantastic. I think they knocked it out of the ballpark. I can't wait to shoot it. The shooting reviews that I've heard about this pistol have just been superb. So here's first view, desktop. Walther Q4 SF. Thank you for watching. As always, I release new videos every Friday afternoon, so please stop by and take a look at what's new. We got some good things coming up. And please, if you feel like it, check out my po what I post on, on Facebook and Instagram. There's things over there that I can't do on, on YouTube yet. So thank you, and until the next time, God bless.